just been talking with uh, we've been making the adjustments at halftime because they shot 50% per cash from the 30% and 70% of the defense Honestly, there's no adjustments. We knew this team could shoot um, coming in. There was no adjustments really made. Uh, we knew this team could shoot. I think the only adjustment really made was, I think people kind of took it upon themselves, upon <coughs> man, you know, we're going to get out there and guard them. And I think the percentages, you know, kind of show that. But other than that, we knew coming in, I mean, they beat Wyoming, who's a well-coached defensive team, um, you know, at Wyoming. So we knew they could shoot and they could make tough shots. It was just a matter of, you know, contesting them, and we knew eventually they were probably going to, you know, stop falling. Hey, for both of you guys, along those lines, the hot start at Fort Lewis had, you know, the guys feel like some of your perimeter D was lacking, or was it just a matter of those guys knocking down shots? I won't say that it was totally perimeter defense, like it was totally on our perimeter players. Um, I think that they made some tough shots. But I also think that we aided in allowing them to feel comfortable and um, allow them to get off to a good start because they were hitting some open ones too. And when you let a team like that think that they can play with you, they're going to keep shooting them and you know they're going to feel good. But you know, honestly, it's one of those things where we have to get better. It's just the honest truth. We have to get better out there because we're going to play better guards than um, what we play tonight. Yeah, just just following up with Josh. Um, they just made just tough shots, and I think most of them, from what I've seen, were shots overhand, and that's what Coach Boyle wants, and uh, they was just making them, really. Offensively, you guys have scored more than eight points a game in every single game since Iowa State. You guys like how you're flowing offensively? Uh, yeah, I think we're in a good rhythm. You know, uh, guys are making shots, and um, we're sharing the ball, and we're making sure we're playing inside out. So it's all good. I think you're seeing our chemistry, you know. I think we're a pretty close group. We want each other to succeed, and I think you're seeing that in how we're playing. I think we're having fun on offense. How have you guys focused on ball handling and reducing turnovers and practices? Uh, coach, yeah, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you get that, because. Uh, we do these things, we're like, we do two things mainly. We do this thing called second loss of ball, and that's if you turn over twice. You gotta like run sprints the whole team. And then we do this one thing, is you just hit the stair, you call it take a hike. So you turn the ball over, you just stop what you're doing, you run up the stairs. So I think, you know, uh, us guards are really trying to accommodate that and, and turn, limit our turnovers in the game because of the practice things that we've been doing. Yeah, I was just, uh, just just making an easy play. You know, if two guys were guarding, I knew one person would be open. I was trying to find them, being under control, though. And then uh, my teammates were just knocking down shots. Anything else for the players? All right, thanks, guys.